So for this particular problem, we are going to do a rotation uh, and we're going to rotate uh, triangle ABC. So let's write that down here, okay? So here's what we're going to, going to do. We're going to rotate uh, triangle ABC uh, and we'll rotate it uh, 270 degrees. Uh, we'll rotate it 270 degrees clockwise. So clockwise will be this way. Um, about uh, point B. Okay, so point B is here. So we are going to use point B as our center of rotation. Okay, now that we know what we have to do, let's suss out um, how we have to set this up so that we can actually get it done. First of all, uh, let's sort out our tracing paper. And what I like to do with the tracing paper, kind of like a step one, uh, a preparation step maybe is to draw on the tracing paper uh, a set of axes and that will help me uh, do my rotations really accurately so if I'm very careful I can do this <clears throat> okay now that for a while I won't be referring to these axes here the pink axes because I won't be using the point of origin as the center of rotation. I'm going to be using point B. So let's just align this, these crosshairs here, the point, the meeting point of the axes, my tracing paper on point B, and just make sure my tracing paper actually covers the entire shape. Okay, so this is the one. And just make sure that my axes align to the grid lines on the math paper underneath. So there we go, lines, aligns, okay. So, for sure, I know that point B is here. Okay, so that's not going to move. That's actually going to stay exactly where it is. Point A is here, and point C is here. So I'm going to be turning 270 degrees clockwise. So 270 degrees. What this means is that if I start here, if I start here, and I have to go 270 degrees, it's three 90s, right? So I'm gonna to have to turn through this one, through that one, through that one. And I wanna be turning this way, clockwise. So essentially when this one to here, when this turns from here to here, that's 90, from here to here, that's 180, from here to here is 270. So I need to line up, this needs to line up here. So let's turn, 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 that's 90. Keep turning, I'm watching this axis, remember? Turn, turn, turn. Okay, that's 180. Here's on point B still. So I need to get from here to here, so I turn one more 90 degrees. And now this axis lines up with that line. Great, just make sure I'm right smack bang on B. Line up, okay, so I'm back to lining up my axes on the grid lines. Okay, and here's B right here. So, I'm looking now to label uh, the images of A, B, C. So let's do that. Here's A, here's B, that hasn't moved, and here's C. So what I can do if I want to, I can just plot uh, A dash, B dash, C dash by just lifting the tracing paper up. So I know C is here right on the pink axis line, so I could just go like this and mark it down, okay, and call that C dash. I could do that. Uh, that is a good way, uh, especially for simple uh, problems like this one, but the way I would do it for any uh, shape is I would actually note down the coordinates, and to note down the coordinates of A dash, B dash, C dash, I would refer to the original uh, axis that uh, was there, which was the pink one, and take my coordinates from that. So if I was to do that, B is at minus one, two. So minus one, two, that's where B dash is. Uh, that'll be here, cool. A, da uh, A dash will be, here's zero, zero, one, two, one, two. So it'll be uh, minus two, minus two. And C, which is here, is zero, one, two, three like that. So take those away. 
And all I have to do is plot these points. So A is minus two, minus two. So one, two, one, two. This is gonna be where A dash is. B is minus one, two, minus one, one, two. Yep, so that's gonna be B dash as well as point B. And C dash is zero minus three, zero, one, two, three, C dash. Okay, all I have to do now is draw the image of triangle uh, ABC. So just take my time. Okay, draw the image of triangle ABC, which is A dash triangle, A dash, B dash, and C dash. So that is the image right there. And all I need to do is label B dash, C dash, point A dash. And now this problem is done.